you can't die, you're not even in here, <laughs> you know? And basically, we are, our, our energy fields playing through a virtual reality system. Uh, and just so it doesn't confuse too many people, because uh, in my own scientific mind, I said, oh my God, I'm not even in here, uh, which immediately says you can't die because it's like a television set recording of a show. You can watch a TV and the show is going, TV breaks, oh, TV's dead, but the broadcast is still there. Same thing with the cells in our body. Our cells are receiving an identity through these antennas that's from the field. Point is the cells could die, but the broadcast is still there. Uh, and once I started doing this, oh my gosh, you know, this whole understanding about how, uh, you know, we have a spiritual entity. I don't want to say spiritual for some people because that's religious. I, it's not religious to mm -hmm. me, spiritual. Uh, I, I'll use physics, same word, field. Why? Field, invisible moving forces that influence the physical world. Spirit, invisible moving forces that influence the physical world. You want to say field? You want to say spirit? I don't care which one. Field's more science, spirit, whatever. What's the point? And the point was simply this. Uh, as a scientist, I said, well, wait a minute. If I have a, uh, a, a spirit, and that's the immortal broadcast, then why do I have a body? Uh, and, and that's when I found I had very funny cells because I asked the question, well, why have a spirit and a body? Why not just be a spirit? And the body gave me an answer, which I just really want to say because it blew my mind. And the answer was, I said, why have both? Uh, and the cells answered with a question. They said, Bruce, if you're just a spirit, what does chocolate taste like? And if you stop and realize, say, oh my God, this is a virtual reality machine. We come in here and we can taste and smell and see and feel love and all that. And all of a sudden that changed my whole meaning of why we are here on this planet. We came here to create. And, and the idea is, I look around and go, well, we're not doing a great job at this creation. But then I realize this, mm -hmm. we've also been programmed. The movie, The Matrix, as we talked about, is a documentary, everybody's programmed. And if we get out of the program, which is the work that you talk about and the work that I talk about, if you get out of the program, then you become a free creator. If you're in the program, you're going to create whatever the program is. And we have been misprogrammed, and that has caused the problem on this planet. And to get out is to listen to the science that you talk about, the science that I talk about, yeah. and say, it's our choice to change consciousness, because that, even according to quantum physics, is what's creating this whole thing.